Good evening, everyone. I want to share something with you, but before we go into the word, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, please forgive us, Lord, of our sins. And Lord, we pray that these words will rest on the heart of someone. Lord, we pray, God, that they will turn their lives over to you if they haven't already. And God, we ask you, Father, to help us to stay on the straight and narrow, that we let no nothing and nobody separate us from you. Lord, keep us, Lord. Keep our minds, Lord. Order our footsteps, Father. We thank you, God. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise, God. We're so grateful and thankful, Lord God, that you had mercy on us, Lord God, that you allowed us another opportunity. And God, help us, Lord that we don't take it lightly, that we don't take it lightly being able to see and walk and hear and drive and being able to cook and do things for ourselves, Lord God, being able to have having a job. Lord, help us, Lord. Help us not to murmur and complain, but to be content. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, I'm going to be coming from... Um, Luke 16, I'm going to start at, the ver at verse 19. I'm going to read all the way down to verse 31. Okay, y'all, come on, go with me. Okay. And it says, There was a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen and lived in luxury every day. At, at his gate was, was laid a beggar named Lazarus, covered with sores and longing to eat what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs came and licked his sores. Verse 22 says, The time came when the beggar died and the angels carried him to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried. In hell where he was in, in torment, he looked up and saw Abraham a far away with Lazarus by his side. So he called to him, Father Abraham, have pity on me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue because I'm in agony in this fire. But Abraham replied, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things while Lazarus received bad things, but now he is comforted here and you are in agony. We are in verse 26 and it says, besides all this, between us and you a great chasm has been fixed so that those who want to go from here to you cannot, nor can anyone cross over from there to us. Verse 27 says, he answered, then I beg you father, send Lazarus to my father's house, for I have five brothers let him warn them so that they will not also come to this place of torment. We on verse 29. It says, Abraham replied, they have Moses and the prophets, so let them listen to them. No, Father Abraham, he said, but if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. He said to him, if they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be convinced even if someone rises from the dead. I pray that you will listen and heed the word of God. People, God has his people here in the earth to lead and guide us in the way that we should go. And we have the Holy Spirit residing on the inside. He wants to lead and guide us. I pray that we will submit and yield ourselves to him and let him have his way. Now, when I say it to you, I'm saying it also to myself. Listen, this rich man, he had all five of his senses in hell. Hell is a real place. And don't none of us want to go there. My prayer is that, that we will live so we don't have to go there. And to stay out of hell, first we got we to gotta hear the word. Then we're going to repent, repent, turn around, go the other way. You know, just stop doing what you're doing. 
you having a hard time, whatever your whatever their problem may be, you might be having. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you. And when you repent, be sincere in your heart. Don't be just don't just do it just to be saying, well, I'm going to just get it on out the way. I'm going to just say it. But when you do it, you got to turn around and say, I don't do that no more. I stopped doing those things a long time ago. I don't do that no more. That's it. It's over. And and you yeah, and people will see. People will see but 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 mainly mostly the Lord Jesus, we can't hide nothing from him. He know everything. He know our secret faults. He know everything about us. He's all seeing, all knowing. He's all powerful. We can't hide. The word even say he never sleeps nor slumber. Yeah. That's that's awesome. I mean, that's a, we serve a mighty God. Body of Christ, I love you. If it be God's will, I'll see you in the next video. Stay with Jesus because he's all we got. You go outside of Jesus, where you going? Where are we going? If, if we leave God, where, where, where are we going to go? We ain't got nowhere to go. If we get off the path of righteousness, that path is very narrow. And the Lord say only a few going to be on that path. But on the road to destruction, the word of God said it is it's broad, it's wide, and it said many going to be on it. So don't get on that broad road. Stay on the straight and narrow. Don't look to the left nor to the right. Keep your eyes focused on Jesus and run for your life. And if, ain't, if people, if you're sitting in churches and they're not telling you the truth, if they're not leading you to Christ, they're not leading you to heaven on how to get there, you better get up out of there. They're telling you about a car, a house, a husband, and all of that. Run for your life. Run for your life. It's nothing wrong. We're getting a car. We're getting a house. We're having money. We're having a husband. We're having a wife. It's nothing wrong. But, but Matthew 6 and 33 say, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then all this other stuff will come. That's what he said in his word. People of God, run for your life. Don't let the devil fool you. God said we are not ignorant of the enemy's devices. Run, run, run. Don't run from him, but run to Jesus. Run from the devil. Resist him. And the word of God said he got to go. The word say, uh, James 4 and 7, submit yourself therefore unto God. Resist the devil and he got to go. The word don't lie. Run for your life. Run, run, run. I love you. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.